Hey there! Today I want to show you quickly how to turn your Raspberry Pi into an Apache web server. You can do this on any Raspberry Pi including the Zero, the Zero W or the Pi 3. And you may have seen previous videos of mine where I control lights using my phone. The idea behind that is that, it, that it's just a web page that has a couple of buttons and with JavaScript sends commands to my Raspberry Pi, uh, to my Python scripts. And the and what I want to show you today is to set up the front end of this, how to set up the Apache web server, and then we'll slowly build our Python scripts later on. Uh, my tactics are a little bit dirtier because I use PHP in the middle because I'm not that strong in Python. But um, in this series, I'll skip Python and go straight from the front to the back of Python. So the first thing you want to do before you install Apache is to do uh, the command sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade. What this will do is it'll check for any updates and upgrades to your Raspbian uh, or to whatever operating system that you're running and get the latest packages and, and upgrade them. And uh, I'll, I'll skip through this, I'll, I'll fast forward this and when we come back, uh, when, when this is completed, we will install Apache 2. Okay, so that's that took a few minutes and it updated everything that we needed to update. So the next thing we want to do is I'm just going to clear this so that it's it's on top. Is uh, run the command sudo apt install apache2, um, and I'll do a, a send in an argument with a y argument, which is just telling the installer that whenever it asks me, whenever it wants me to verify that I want to continue with something just to say yes automatically without prompting me so that we don't have to wait. So I'll just click this, it'll take another few minutes to install Apache 2. And the idea is that once I visit my Raspberry Pi's IP address, which is 192.168.1.196, I'll have a quick little HTML page here generated by Apache. So right now it's not working, so if I refresh, you know, it's, it's not gonna load. So now if I install this, and uh, I'll fast forward through this piece as well. So now that Apache has been installed, I can go to the web page here and see if it loads. So now you can see that it says Apache 2 Debian default page. It gives you some locations to where some of the configuration files are, as well as where this index.html page is, which is uh, here, the default Debian document root is var www.html. So if you go to that URL here, I'll clear it again, we'll do cd var html. You do a list, you can see the index.html. So what I'll do is I'll rename index.html to something else. We'll do um, old index.html. And then, whoops, you need to do sudo because you need root privileges. And we'll create another one. You can use any uh, sudo again. You can use any editor you want. I like using nano. Uh, it's pretty simple and uh, noob friendly. So I'll create another index.html. And I'll do something super easy. We'll do hello from easyprogramming.net. Uh, no HTML tags or anything, just to show you that I did that, go back here and I refresh this, you'll see that the page has reloaded with whatever I put in that HTML. So we've already created our front gate, and if you're on a local network and if you don't have any kind of weird firewall, you can access this IP address from any other computer. Uh, because right now I'm accessing my remote Raspberry Pi from this computer here uh, pretty easily. And in the future when we're working on our lights, we will place all of our buttons on this page and then access them and uh, control our Raspberry Pi through this. So the last thing I want to show you is how to start and stop your Apache web server now. Uh, so if you want to check the status of it, you can just type in service Apache to status and it will tell you whether or not it's running. If you want to turn it off, you need to use sudo, uh, sorry, uh, sudo service Apache to stop and it'll take about a few seconds and it'll stop the service. Now if I click on status again, it'll say that it's you know it's inactive, dead. And if I go back here and I refresh this, it will not work anymore. So if I do the same thing, uh, so sudo service Apache to start, it'll start the service. So installing Apache 2 will uh, automatically ensure that Apache 
runs when the Raspberry Pi is on. So if it ever shuts down and if you re reboot it, Apache should come back on. So if you're ever, ever having issues with it, you can also do sudo uh, restart and that should restart the service, which takes a few more minutes. I mean, sorry, a few more seconds. And press enter, let it do its thing. And there you go, it's just restarted. It doesn't really give you any, any status updates here. So uh, that's all for uh, turning your Raspberry Pi into a web server. We will use this uh, later on, uh, more in depth. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments below. Also, be sure to visit easyprogramming.net for more tutorials. And if you want to see a tutorial, if you want to see a topic get covered, please let me know. I'm more than happy to look into new topics. Thanks for watching. Have a great one.